How's it going? In this video, we're going to look at different ways you can back up a singer. And, um, you know, that's oftentimes you go home and you practice and you, you play your solos and, and, and that stuff. But then you get on stage and there's a singer singing and there's a band playing. And uh, well, what do I do? Well, that changes depending on uh, the instrumentation or what other people in the band are doing. And you have to always listen and, and uh, really uh, be careful about like what, you know, think about what the song needs. And um, so to make this kind of easy to think about, um, here are three basic um, approaches that you can take when, when the singer is singing. Um, and what they are, are gonna be called pads, fills, or rhythm. And um, what pads are, are like the big sustained chords. It's kind of like, you think of it as a layer of music, okay? So it's the sustained stuff that happens underneath. Um, so you may follow the chords around. A very simple way to do pads would be um, just uh, strumming little chords. And that's a pretty nice roll to take because um, depending on what your instrumentation is, you know, um, Especially, uh, there are a lot of bluegrass instruments that don't uh, really do sustained things. So that can be a really nice place for the dobro to be. Um, it's kind of that under layer. I think of it as the carpet you lay down um, for the song to sit on, um, if that makes any sense. So you're playing chords. It doesn't always have to be chords. It could be single notes. It could be little melodies that are subtle. And um, but it's a layer of music. It's the pad layer, and uh, and usually kind of in a lower range. Um, so pads, um, and then fills are you know you listen to the vocal and you wait until there's a little break, and you fill it in with a little miniature solo. <laughs> just a little quick melodic thing and it's not time to uh, show off your fancy licks it's time to put a really nice simple melody in sometimes these little double stop things um, something like that or uh, sometimes a song needs some rhythmic drive and then you can um, add some rhythm which where, where your chops and your chucks and stuff like that come in and you uh, then you're you're um, adding to the rhythmic part of uh, the background music this is something that drives the rhythm so that's really what I try to think of when um, I'm in a situation I'm on stage and um, there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a singer singing, and uh, there's a band playing. And I listen to what's happening. And I say, what what part of the music needs some help? You know, and if there's nothing in that kind of pad layer or not much in there, I may be down there. If nobody's playing fills, that's probably where I'll be. Um, that's a great spot for a dobro to be. But you know. Other people might want to play some fills too, and it's important not to do fills if somebody else is. So um, when it comes to fills, you may want to um, divvy them up with the band beforehand, you know, say, okay, I'll take fills on the first verse, you take fills on the second verse. It's a great way to go. If you don't do that, then you gotta maintain a lot of eye contact and, um, and pay attention to who's doing what so that no two people are doing the fills at the same time. That can be an ugly thing when two people go for a fill at the same time. So be aware of that. And then um, depending on the instrumentation too, uh, it may be something where the song needs some drive, some rhythmic drive, and then you can, you can um, try to add rhythm. So those are the three things to think about. Uh, the important thing to note is that um, the singer is what's really important in that situation. So um, whatever you do, don't get on top of the singer. Stay underneath the singer or in between the singer if you're doing fills. Um, but try make sure that you don't mess with what the singer's doing because that's the important part. You're just trying to support that. And then um, eventually you'll get your solo and you'll get your, your turn to, to show off your stuff. But uh, when the singer's singing, you got to support them. So that's what you want to do. Um, 
So I'm gonna do a few more videos here. I'm gonna break down each one of these things. So uh, pads, fills, and rhythm. All right, um, check out the next video. I think I'll do um, some pads next. All right, see ya.